Yeah, so I'm back to doing computer work. Took a nap. The internet wasn't working. I couldn't get it working. And there was no reason to try to get it working if I couldn't figure it out in the first place. So I just took a nap. And I woke up and uh, it works. And then I got a knock on the door and I got papers um, from my dad, for my dad, um, to show up in court. So he won't answer his phone, so his phone's awesome. I don't know what to do about that. His problem, not mine. I don't know, but <laughs> I downloaded, uh, I'm shooting again to fix my laptop. I don't know, maybe the third time's a charm. We'll see. But I just went ahead and just downloaded Linux Mint, man. The uh, most stable version they have. It's called Cinnamon Edition. It's two and a half gigs. I just downloaded the torrent. And then it literally just downloaded. I uh, I put it on the USB drive. I just got done. It should be done now. So I'm hoping uh, it works. It'd be nice. It really would. It'd be helpful. It does this a lot. I don't see it writing, so. And you'll try. Fucking thirsty as hell. I just woke up. Need something to drink. I don't got no Kool-Aid. I don't have nothing like that. I don't have, uh, all I have is milk, really, and coffee, and tea. I can make tea. I got tea and honey. I got cranberry tea and mint tea, which the mint tea helps my stomach a lot. So we're going to try it, see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. F12... Alright, let's go ahead and uh, start Linux Mint. Let's see what happens here. I hope it works, man. I really do. I need to go get something to drink, a light of joint. I got a lot to do tonight. I only took a nap because when I take a nap at 5 to 8 usually, or 6 to 10, um, it just depends. But I took, you know, I took one early because there's nothing to do and I got to be out of here next week. And yeah, the internet wasn't working. And I really wanted to get this done. I was tired anyway, so just did it. It's the weekend. I really take the weekend slow. I really do. Those are my time off. So, so far, so good. The mouse is working, which is surprising. That's a good sign. So now I gotta find my internet, which is right here. I'm gonna put in my password. Then we're gonna connect. I really hope this works, man. I'm tired of uh, messing with it. I really am. I mean, I'm not tired of it. I enjoy this stuff, but it was frustrating. I did all the work, you know? Like, why do I gotta do all this work again? What the fuck, dude? Um, yeah, I'm hoping it works good, man. They just released a new edition, too. They just came out with a new one, so I'm hoping that it solves my problem. Because this, this board is really new. The It's a 10th Intel. I mentioned that in another video, so I think that's why I'm having problems. Um, the development for it, you know, hasn't come around to it yet. So... Install multimedia codecs. So that's another thing with Linux. Um, a lot of multimedia codecs are proprietary. So um, you got to agree with the terms and stuff to download them, um, to use them on a Linux uh, system. So a lot of Linux systems don't come with them. Um, you got to you gotta download the stuff. But this one gives you uh, the option to download it. We'll see if it actually installs. That's the problem, you know. It's, it's, I gotta get it to install and fucking boot. I've gotten this far before. So we'll see. D 
Detroit. Click next. Continue. Uh, says my name. Retrospect. Um, your computer's name. Free fly. Uh, pick your username. Retrospect. And put in my password. I'm happy the mouse works, man. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. If it if it installs and then it boots, I'd be very happy. I would. I'd be ecstatic. Because it was just working for a month straight, and then it went out over there that one morning. I was doing a video, and I've had problems since. I haven't, I haven't got it working since the last two days. But I was also trying. I got Endeavor to work. Endeavor OS was working fine. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't get used to Pac-Man. That's why I think it's the operating system, because Endeavor OS installed. I was thinking it might be the hard drive, but I don't know. It could be. I don't know. It sees the hard drive, though. It sees it. That's why I don't think it is. It's confusing to me. But yeah, it's installing. It says it's working, so, so far so good. And I like Linux Mint, man. Linux Mint's always been a solid system for me. It's, I don't know, I just like it. It's very simple, it's clean, it's elegant, you know, it's... I'm used to it. Um, I know the I know the system pretty much, the ins and outs of it, you know. Um, you know, it's easy, it's easy for me to set things up and... I just know the system well, and I know you bought new well as well on Debian. Um, you know, I can mess with Red Hat and Fedora Core and, you know, all those Arc Linux distributions. I don't have a problem with it. I just, I'm in a hurry right now. I got to be out of here in a week, and I prefer Debian anyways. That's what I what I wanted to use. That's why I had MX Linux on here, because MX Linux is a... Well, actually, MX Linux was an Arc-based, actually. But it was... It was like a fork. It was like a arc based uh some other kind of distribution. I don't know, I liked it. It was good until it crashed. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's my computer. I hope it's not. <sighs> I didn't run a I didn't run like a hard disk repair program or anything. I just cause it shows the hard drive and it's a SD card, so I'm sure there's programs to fix SD cards. I, I'm not sure what would be wrong with the SD card besides it going bad. Um, because they just do write cycles. You know, it's just a flash. But I don't know. I'd have to figure that one out if it don't work. So I'm not gonna. I I need a Linux machine. I need two of them. One for my backpack. One in my pocket, one for the workstation, and I need a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, man. So far, so good. I'm happy. It looks like uh, it might be a winner today. And I'm thinking I'm going to go um, figure out what to drink. I think I'm going to make some coffee again, man. Put some honey in it so I don't have sugar. And I really don't want to go nowhere. I don't. I'm not in the mood today. I need a break from people. Frustrated seeing that shit from my dad in the mail today. Like, it's just the whole situation is just stupid, you know? All because I speak the truth and love Jesus. I'm serious. That's what it is. All because I spoke the truth. I told him how I felt. I told him that I told the whole family how they are. I told them exactly how they are. I put them all in their place. And they didn't like it. So, you know what? I'm going to move on. That's as simple as that. I'm not, I can't do it, man. Which, that's so why I'm in the Bible 24-7. Look, do you see what I sleep next to? 
I sleep next to the Bible, and do you see what sleeps next to me? A loaded 500 Mossberg shotgun. Okay? <laughs> it stays loaded, bro. Look. It stays loaded. I sleep with it. Okay? I know I don't have schizophrenia. I know I'm not fucking crazy. I just know how people are. And where I live, it's not a good place to live. So, on that note, I sleep with one. Um, yeah, because people, you know, the money, the type of money I have, you know what I mean, um, that I'm going to be spending on the boat and stuff. And People are crazy, man. I'm telling you, my family don't even know I have money. I tried to tell them that I was making money on the internet. I tried to show them. They wouldn't believe me. They, how are you making money on the internet? Like, they were so that dumb. That was, they were that dumb. It's, it was stupid, man. It was stupid. And then when I told them, like, I want to help them out, they're like, oh, I don't want your money, right? But then you're sitting there asking me for money. Yeah, whatever, dude. I'm I'm done. I'm done. I cut them all off. I did. I cut them all off. All of them. And it's the best thing I ever did. It is. It is the best thing I ever did. It feels good. It feels good to have your own place, man. And it does. And you save up your own money and you know you're about to have your own boat. It feels good, dude. You need to work hard. Work hard for it. I'm telling you. Work hard. Here, use your heart. Your heart, you got to have willpower. Ask God, ask Jesus for it. He'll give it to you. I'm telling you. Which we'll be doing some Bible studies tonight. I'm just trying to see if this boots, man. And I got to get something to drink and smoke. And uh, we can go. We'll do some Bible study, man. Yeah, we'll do we'll do some Bible study today. It's Sunday, you know. Sunday worship. Saturday worship. I spent all day with the Lord yesterday. I do it every day. I do. I spend time with him all day. He's in my head, consciously in my mind, 24-7. He's in my heart. That's why. I'm excited, dude. I really hope this works. The only problem I had with this last time, though, is I use Mate Desktop, I think. I wasn't sure. I don't, I'm actually not sure if I use Cinnamon or Mate. And Cinnamon is the more... Uh, is the more popular version. Um, they say Mate is the more stable version. So I'm kind of hoping that the more popular version, they have more development for it maybe. Um, so I went with Cinnamon. I'm going to see what happens. So, so far, it installed, which it got farther than Kaylee Linux. So that's good. Let's see if it restarts. So I got to pull this. Okay, it says please remove the installation medium. Which is good, so I pulled it to enter. I'm excited, man. I hope this boots. I'd be really happy if it boots. But last time I had it hang, it took forever. And I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Yep. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's booting. That's a good sign. Makes me happy. The last time I installed Linux, man, I sat here. It wouldn't go anywhere. I just sat and sat and sat. It hanged. But I'm pretty sure I used Linux Meat last time. I'm hoping Linux Cinnamon will do it for me. So all these different Linux distributions are developed, you know, differently, you know, they package differently, you know, some of them have more support than others. Yeah, it's not looking good. Uh, it's, it's the first install, though, I just, you know what I mean, I just installed it, so it's always usually slow, the first one. It's got to load everything, you know, it's the first install. Uh. I guess we could do some bath so that loads. I remember we were talking about the 10 Beatitudes, um, and I was reading out of the 
Actually, I was on the computer, actually. I was about to read it on the computer, which I want to get that on here. That's another thing. I'm trying to get this. I love this little laptop. It's irritating me. It's not working right now. Well, it looks like it's working. That's good. So, we're going to go to Matthew. I need to blow my nose. My nose is stuff. I haven't blown it since it'll quit. I had that heater running over there. It was kind of chilly in there with my fan on, and I turned the heater on for a second. It's cheaper to run that oil stand-up heater than it is to turn up the heat in the house. So I just turned that one on, and it actually heats up like half the house. So when I turn on that fan, it blows the heat around pretty good. It works well. It actually brought my bill down from like 100 bucks down to 50 I'm serious. That's why I got it. Yep. All right, Matthew. That's uh, Matthew 5, right? Yep, yep, Matthew 5. So we're going to go over the uh, 10 Beatitudes, man. You know, when Jesus it says, uh, Jesus uh, drew, it says Jesus drew was drawing big crowds. You know, he climbed up on the hillside when he did this, and he told all of the people this, you know. So it says, uh, you're blessed. That's why I said there's no such thing as luck. Um, you're blessed. You're not, you don't, there's no such thing as luck. If you believe in God, there's no such thing as luck. It's called grace. You simply live. You simply have breath of air because God gave it to you. Right? Makes sense, right? If you really clearly think about it, I speak the truth. Um, all right. So it says you're blessed. When Jesus saw his ministry drawing huge crowds, he climbed a hillside. Those who, who were, it says, those who were apprenticed to him, they, the committed climbed with him. Arriving at a quiet place, he sat down and taught his climbing companions. This is what he said. You're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and his rule. That's why I spend so much time with him and I worship him. Because when I have him in my conscience and I worship him, I'm constantly in the word. It's not me that is living. I lay my, I lay my life down consciously in front of the cross. So it's therefore Jesus that lives, not me. Um, unless I give into a bad temptation, which is just a temptation. Even one can only tempt you. You can't force you to do anything because he's spirit. So it's, it's you, when you give into that temptation, you're given into the evil spirit. That's why they say it's sin. It's conscious guilt. Because when you do something guilty, you're conscious of it. And then you feel guilty. And that's what's sin. And it's like a scab. Like, can you imagine like a scab, you know, just like, it building up like each layer every time you sin or you do something guilty or somebody you know, commits guilt to you. That's what people don't understand is that's why I drove everyone out of, out of my life because not only do I have to care of my carry my conscious guilt every time that person is sitting there doing this bat, 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 or a bitching or complaining about someone else, I have to carry their conscious guilt as well because I'm conscious of it. Makes sense. Therefore, you must forgive and you must confess. You must consciously confess what it is that is hurting you for you to heal from it. Otherwise, it'll make you sick. Period. That's why I drove everyone out because it wasn't me that was making me sick. It was them. That's why I was constantly sick because of the stress. I was feeding everybody. All the money that I was doing was going to everybody else. And I was constantly being used and taken advantage of, which was making me physically sick because I was mentally sick. I was spiritually sick in my heart. And so I'm cleansed. I won't be cleansed physically. That's why I look so good and look so radiant and look so healthy because I have taken the time to clean out my heart and clean out myself mentally. Therefore, I look good physically. Make sense? Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I says, uh, you're blessed when you feel you've lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you, which is Jesus. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are, no more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can be bought. You, when you, when you forgive yourself, and that's the hardest thing. It's easy to tell someone to fuck off or forgive them. It is. It's the hardest thing is to forgive yourself. When you can forgive yourself and you're content with who you are and you're happy with who you are in Jesus Christ because you find the true you in Jesus Christ because that is the true you because you're living the right way. You're not making, you're not doing anything to consciously hurt you. Um, and, you're, and, you're, and you're keeping borders and keeping people away that, that can consciously hurt you as well. You're doing good. 
They're spending time with Lord. And, and when those people do do things to you, it just drives you in the word even more. It makes your character even better because you know that that person, you know, it, you don't allow that person to affect you. You don't allow that person to influence you. You get right back into the word. It says, you're blessed when you've worked up a good appetite for God. He's food and drink and the best meal you will ever eat. He says, you're blessed when you care. At the moment of being careful, you find yourselves cared for. What's just the truth, man? You know, I was I mentioned so many times in all these videos, like I went next door and I cut my I cut my neighbor's tree down. I didn't ask him for permission. I just went over there and cut it down, right? I needed a ride. I needed a ride all the way to Canton. I wasn't about to ride my bike all the way that far for that day. Like it was already five o'clock. I needed to go get groceries and I had to go pick up money from somebody that owed me money and they owed me two hundred dollars. Now, instead of riding the bike and them come, they couldn't come get me. They were forcing me to come get them, which is funny because they had a car. They have a car, which I hope they see this video. But anyways, um, they made me they made me come. And so I asked the neighbor to drive me and I was going to give him 50 bucks. He threw me his keys. I'm like, what? No, I'm not taking your car. He made me, dude, he, he forced me in his truck and said, you're taking it. I'm not going with you. And that tells you how much he trusts me. That's crazy. So that's what... That's my example right there. You know, when you're careful, when you help and you care for people and you take, go out of your way, people, people go out of your way for you. That's why you need to watch my first testimony, my very first video. It's a half an hour long, but it'd be the best video to ever watch. Um, it says, you're blessed when you, uh, it says uh, right here, it says, you're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind and heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. Which is true. I mentioned that in the last video. You got to open up your heart or one of the videos before. You got to open your heart. That's your spiritual eye. I and mean, you can open up your heart and you can see the pain and sorrow. And and you can find the good in everything. And you go out of your way to find the good in everybody. And you show the good that's in them. God blesses you, bro. He does. Uh, it, says, it says, you're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete. Or fight. That's when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family. It says, you're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution. The persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. Same as God's word. I was just mentioning that. It makes you, it forces you into the Bible even more. That's why I spend so much time by myself. I sleep with a Mossberg 500 shotgun and I spend time on the word and I just do computer stuff. I I help people, I make money doing these things to help people fix their cars and sell things on Facebook, um, car parts. I do everything legally by the book. I do not do anything to get in trouble. I simply just stay to myself and I work. And I worship Jesus. And I meditate and I do yoga and I eat and I stay fit and I'm healthy every day. And I, I smoke marijuana. Which is which is legal, by the way, in the state of Michigan. So, therefore, you can't say anything about that. But it also says, not only that, count yourselves blessed every time people put you down or throw you out or speak lies about you to discredit me, which is to discredit Jesus. What it means is that the truth is too close for comfort and they are uncomfortable. You can be glad when that happens. Give a cheer even. For though they don't like it, I do. And I'll have an applause. And know that you were in good company. My prophets and witnesses have always gotten into this kind of trouble. When, that's why I said when you follow Jesus, you think you think your life is easy now. Don't follow Jesus, man. If you think your life, if you have a hard life now, you, you can't. Listen, when you, when you follow Jesus, everybody attacks you. Everybody, you better be on your guard, bro. Why do you think I sleep with that? I've had people try to kill me since I followed Jesus. People don't like it. And that's why I like it even more because every time I speak the truth, every time I speak the truth about Jesus in my life to anybody that I know in my life about them, what do they do? They do this or they try to get me in trouble or they try to do something to hurt me, which shows me that Jesus is the truth. Listen, I'm telling you, if you're ready and you're ready to go to war, spiritual war with people and you're tired, like you're, you're ready, you're fit, you're mentally ready, like you're been broken down, you're tired of it, you can't take this anymore, get on your fucking knees, man, at the end of your bed. I'm telling you, ask God, ask Jesus to come into your heart. 
Watch, watch, watch when you start speaking Jesus. Watch everybody that you don't like that's been hurting you. Watch them go the other way. They'll completely do a 180 and walk the other way. I can guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. That's a promise from me. That's a promise from retrospect. I promise you that. But be, just be careful because once you do that, you're on your own. You're on your own. And then you got to deal with yourself. Remember that. you got to deal with yourself. And you got to be ready for that. I suggest if you're ready, you better go grab some paper. You better go grab notebooks. I got notebooks, man. I can show you. Am I this safe right here? There's notebooks of my life, of everything, and everything everybody did to me. Write it down. Write it down. Get that shit out. Even if you don't want to tell anybody, get it out. I'm telling you, get it out. You have to get it out. You won't go anywhere unless you get it out. It don't matter. You don't have to be a singer. You don't have to write music. You don't have to write books. You don't have to do any of that. Write for yourself. Color. Find something that it is that you that you love to do when you were a kid. That's why I eat so much candy. Um, that's why I ride my bike because that was my favorite thing to do when I was a kid. It was the only time I felt free. Um, I used to sneak out of the house and my mom was sleeping at early in the morning and go get my bike riding in. And I would climb through the window and get back in the house before my mom would get up. Because if my mom caught me outside on my bike before she was up, she'd beat the fuck out of me. Because she didn't want me outside because she wanted to sleep in and be high. Which I didn't even understand that as a kid until I got a little bit older. Then you see it, you know. You know what I'm doing? And listen, I walked, to my, I walked myself to school in kindergarten, man. You know, I was already conscious of this stuff at a, at a young age. I was already fucked up at a young age. Really young. And I'm not the only one. There's many people out there like me. Many, 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 many people. You think I'm the only one that's ever been through this? No. No, no, no. You think I'm the only person that ever figured this out? Clearly not. Clearly not. You see this? Clearly not. Huh. I'm not the only one, bro. Or woman or whatever you want to call yourself or a transgender or whatever it is. I don't care. That's not what we're here for. We're here to simply figure out how to make ourselves better, how to improve ourselves, how to, how to, um, feel better about ourselves, you know, remove that guilty conscience. And it take, it's a process. You have to, you have to write it out. You have to say it. You have to tell people, you have to speak. And when you start speaking the truth, I guarantee you, I promise you, everybody's going to walk out of your life when they're not ready for it. The only ones that are going to stay in your life are the ones that worship Jesus as well because they're ready for it. They're ready to speak truth with you. So, yeah, the computer still isn't running. It's still hanging, <laughs> which is what happened with Linux Mint last time. So... I don't know. I might try to put MX Linux back on it. I'm serious. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was just a fluke. I don't know. I, I might have to figure out, see what's going on with this hard drive. See if I can. I don't know, man. I got to do some studying. I got to figure it out. And I got to apply my computer skills. And I'm not really trying to do that. And it looks like I have to. I'm trying to make video for you guys, too. So, I mean, I guess it would be good content. You guys will see me. You guys will be able to learn something if I have to do anything technical. But it's frustrating me because I have a feeling it might be the hard drive. And I know I can't do nothing about the hard drive at this moment today. So then I'm just like, blah. It makes me not have no motivation to do anything else. And it's still hanging. Which I could probably... Let's see. Device. See, there's... It's clean. Box files. I really think there's something going on with the hard drive. I really do. Because it's saying that's the hard drive right there. MCB1 K KPOT. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys liked the uh, little Bible study. Um, we'll do some more today. I told you guys, you know, you guys going to be hanging out with me. I would have done a video earlier, but I took a nap. I had to, man. I had to. I need to get something to drink. So I'm probably going to upload this video. Um, and I'm probably going to go uh, look at MX Linux. And then I'm probably going to try to figure out um, if there's like a program I can run. I know there's HDAT too. 
I don't know if HDAT2 supports SSDs. Um, I'm sure it does. It might not. I got to figure that out. Um, if there's a program out there that I can find, um, open source or, you know, whatever I can find, that maybe I can test this hard drive and see what's going on. Um, I can download a Linux system and run a Linux disk um, called Hyren's Boot CD. Um, man, my nose is stuffy. Um, it's called Hyren's Boot CD. H-I-R-E-N-S-B-O-O-T-C-D. Um, that Linux distribution, it's like, it's actually got, it's like a compilation of like, all these computer tools that you can use to fix computers and do a bunch of different stuff, and not only on Linux machines, but Windows machines as well. Um, I had a copy. I'm probably going to be downloading a copy of that and stuff because it's good to have, um, especially when you're traveling, and it makes me money. Um, that's another thing is I got to get all this stuff set up to make money too, and I'm, it's difficult because I'm packing everything up, and I make a lot of money fixing computers for people, man. I'm telling you, I make... Listen, I make a lot of money, and I make good money, man. I'm talking like a couple hundred dollars a day on a good day. If I set up a go like if I set up enough jobs, I can do it. I've done it. Um, and it's you know it's only just a few hours of work. It's only an hour or two of my work for each computer, you know. And I'm only I'm getting a hundred bucks per pop, you know. I'm charging a hundred bucks to back up this person's data, reformat the computer, update it, clean it out. Uh, maybe put you know new RAM in it, whatever that type of stuff, and I'm only charging hundred bucks because a lot of these computer places they charge more than that, you know. So what I'll do is I'll go on certain websites and I'll I'll run ads and stuff, which I'll show you guys. Um, Craigslist used to be really good. Um, I haven't used Craigslist. Um, and I've been trying to find other websites too because I'm gonna be traveling. Um, that's another reason why I'm irritated because I had a lot of that stuff. Uh already bookmarked which i still have it over there on that computer because it's bookmarked through my google so i still have access to it but you know what's not my little computer i gotta i'm trying to get this thing man i gotta have it i need this thing so yeah i'm gonna go blow my nose <laughs> isn't it stuffed um and i can only, i can't breathe through this one anyway it's completely collapsed from fighting and then this one's fucked up from drugs um all the years um, that's why I work out so hard and I stay in shape and it keeps me busy. Um, I stay busy 24 seven, seven days a week. I'm busy, busy, busy. Um, and I love it. Jesus, man, I'm telling you, Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the truth. So I'll let you guys go. Um, hopefully you guys are digging in the Bible, man. You know, you guys, I'll uh, catch you guys later, you know? Uh, it'd be cool to hear from some of you, you know, let me know what's, uh, what you guys think, uh, your insight and stuff, you know, if you guys got anything that might be uh, helpful to me, you know, or uh, maybe some places you guys know that are good on the trail, like biking spots, um, that'd be cool, man, you know, or even meet somebody out there, you know, I can always meet up with somebody, another YouTuber, or, that'd be cool, I would really enjoy that, I really would. Um, you know, and I'm looking to do collaborations as well, you know, um, I got these programs that I'm trying to finish, um, rolling out eventually next year. So, you know, maybe I get some help on those, you know, um, you know, cause this isn't about me. This isn't my, you know, my, I, I talk about my life, but this not, the channel isn't about me, man. It's not, it's about perspectives and, um, I can't wait to get you guys these interviews and stuff, which is going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. I'm excited. Um, some of the people I have in, in, in mind, in my heart that, uh, I want to interview, um, and the way I interview and the things I'm going to be asking, I believe, uh, I believe it ain't nothing like it out there. There isn't. I really believe there isn't. God tells me this. That's why I do this. That's why I'm doing this. Um, you know, and I'm trying to make the videos personable, man. That's why I'm not editing them. I'm not. I don't feel I should be editing these videos. Um, they got to be genuine, man. They have to be simply genuine. I don't care if you guys hear my lisp. I don't care what you, you know, what people see. They got to see the real me. And, you know, everybody has many sides to them. You know, and there's always people have many, many personalities. And they put on these, they display these personalities depending on who's around them. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. 
There's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not hurting yourself or you're hurting other people with your lies. If you're not lying and you're speaking the truth, it's okay. Everybody has different looks, different personalities, um, you know, and that's the truth, you know. When I when I grew up in the hood, you know, I, I talk different than when I'm in the hood than when I'm here because people adapt, people blend in, you know. Um, it comes out, you know, I, I can't help it. When I go in the hood and I hang out with my friends in the hood, they bring it out of me, you know. You got to remember, I've done time too, so... And I hung out with the black guys more than I hung out with the white guys because they were more solid in the joint. Most of the white guys, they're shady as fuck, man. The only ones, I'm telling you, the only ones in Michigan prison, the only... Listen, there's only two groups in prison that have... In Michigan prison that have decent people, and I'm talking about gang gang people. That's the cash flows. There's a lot of solid cash flows. They really are. They really are. Those are maybe I'm telling you those are probably those are probably those are probably the best ones to hang out with. Um you know, that's just my opinion. And then you got the biker gangs too, you know, the brother of arms. I'd probably say the brother of arms are pretty cool, you know. Um most of them are solid people, you know. Um but that was just my experience. I didn't really care for a lot of them. Um, that was just my experience. Same with the cash flows, you know. Um, but I hung out. If I, if I did hang out with anybody from the hood, you know what I mean? Like, from my way, it would be. I was hanging out with the boys. I was hanging out from, you know, I was hanging out with the black boys from Brightmoor, you know what I mean? From my hood. Um, you know, and I grew up from Brightmoor, you know what I mean? Because if you're white in Brightmoor, most of the time you're fucked up. You're shady, bro. Um, you're fucked up. It's true. You're fucked up most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time you're fucked up. Same with same with guys from South White Boys from Southwest Detroit. Most of them are fucked up too. There's only a few solid dudes. There's only a few of them. Um. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go try to get this done and get something to drink and blow my nose, man. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace out.